Now at 5.30, Subaru of America's former headquarters is facing the wrecking ball. Demolition has begun on the 33-year-old building in Cherry Hill. It has stood vacant since last April when Subaru moved its headquarters to a new facility. Cleve Bryan joins us live to explain why the building is coming down now and the political war that this decision is creating. Hi, Cleve. Uh, a lot of people have been stopping to take a look at the demolition when they've knocked down one of the uh, entire outside walls of the old building. And really, the demolition of the building uh, speaks to the migration of businesses to Camden under a controversial tax incentive program. Floor by floor, Subaru's former Cherry Hill headquarters is no more. This week, demolition efforts ramped up on the 33-year-old building, which has sat vacant on Marlton Pike since the company moved four miles down the road to Camden last year. I grew up in the area, so to me, it doesn't seem like it's that old of a building, and you know, now they're taking it down. Subaru says they weren't satisfied with the offers they received for the old building, so they'll try to sell the 14-acre lot. They said in a statement, with our relocation to Camden, the building is no longer of use to Subaru or to prospective future users of the property. In order to protect the curb appeal of the property, particularly given its prominence and high visibility along Route 70, we elected to take the building down. Blows of the political nature have been coming at companies like Subaru that use the Grow New Jersey tax incentive program to build in Camden. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy has a task force looking for fraud and frivolous spending by the state agency that doled out $11 billion in corporate tax breaks including more than one and a half billion dollars in Camden. If not for these incentives, none of this progress would be made in Camden. Freeholder director Louis Capelli and other Camden Democrats are engaged in a political war of words with Murphy over the tax incentives, as Murphy's task force has singled out tax breaks in Camden. The Renaissance in Camden City has been a international story. Poverty rate is at its lowest in decades, crime rate lowest in decades, graduation rate highest in decades. Um, but this kind of puts a wet blanket over it all. Camden leaders, including the Norcross family, which is linked to a large share of the tax breaks, are looking for a chance to address allegations of corruption and cronyism. If somebody's done something wrong, then the state should act accordingly. This task force uh, is a joke. As far as the demolition plan, Subaru says that they want to have the work done sometime in June, and they plan to try and recycle about 75% of the materials at this site. Reporting live in Cherry Hill, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you.